the protein of CD5 is abnormally expressed or displayed in T cells and or in B1AB cells in chronic lymphocytic leukemia and is often referred to as a marker. The small CD5 positive B lymphocytes multiply and accumulate in a CLL patient's blood, bone marrow, and secondary lymphoid tissues, and then create the condition of CLL. Though some blood cancers show as CD5 negative status, CD5 is shown as overexpressed along with CD19 and CD23 combined with a weak expression of CD20 and CD79B in CLL patients. Recent research studies looking at different CD markers, including CD5, show that monitoring of CD expression changes over time can help more accurately determine prognosis for CLL patients. So there's kind of a code of these markers on the surface of all of your blood cells that can tell what type of cells they are. So for CLL um, in particular, we'll see that the cells express some of the normal markers we would see on a normal B lymphocyte, things like CD19, CD20, CD23, but they also express a marker called CD5, which is found on normal T lymphocytes, but shouldn't be found on B lymphocytes. And so this collection of surface markers can make the diagnosis of CLL. Sometimes we do need to do extra studies like a bone marrow biopsy or a lymph node biopsy, but oftentimes those are not necessary at the time of diagnosis. As always, check with your CLL specialist if you have more questions about CD5 expression in CLL. Start here. Visit PowerfulPatients.org.